Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, in case you are new. Today is Monday, and for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making um, just like some taquitos for everyone. And then for myself, I'm just gonna have lettuce cups, like with the taco meat. Um, so I'm gonna make the taco meat with this keto taco seasoning. I'm gonna leave the recipe for this in the description box, like all the measurements and the seasonings. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this Mexican style blend cheese. And I'm gonna roll that up. I like to make them with flour tortillas because they get like nice and puffy. It's almost like a chalupa, like if you've ever had a chalupa from Taco Bell. I have my ground beef cooked. I went ahead and drained out all of the grease. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of my keto taco seasoning, and then I'll add three-fourths of a cup of water and then just cook that down. So I have the taco meat here. I have my flour tortillas. I'm gonna roll them up and I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to the inside. So here's all of the taquitos. I didn't put any toothpicks or anything like that. I just put the seam side down and then I have a little bit of oil in there that I'm heating up and then I'm just gonna fry them up. So here are the taquitos and then we have some toppings. We have like lettuce, um, sour cream. This is fresh jalapeno that I cut into thin slices. We have a couple different hot sauces here. And then this is my plate. I have the lettuce cups. I just have ground beef, a little bit of cheese and then some avocado. I'm not gonna put any sour cream, but I will put some jalapenos and some hot sauce. So that is our dinner for Monday night. So today is Tuesday, and for dinner tonight, we're having ribeye steaks. I'm just frying them, and then I'm going to add some butter. This is just Kerrygold unsalted butter, so I'm gonna add some butter at the very end. Actually, I'm probably gonna put it right now for this one. I just seasoned the steaks with salt and pepper. So here is my plate, I'm just having steak and a little bit of veggies and Vanessa has steak and rice and then Ariel will also have steak and rice. We also have A1 for anyone who wants it and that is our dinner for Tuesday night. So today is Wednesday and for dinner tonight I am making beef nilaga. I'm making it with beef short ribs. I already boiled the short ribs once, I just bring it to a boil and then I just dump all of that water out and get rid of any of the gunk. And then I put some fresh water in here with one onion that I just cut into big pieces and then I added some whole black peppercorns. And then I'm just gonna boil this. It's gonna be a few hours. So I'm just gonna boil this until the meat is nice and tender. And then I will season it with some fish sauce. Let's check on the nilaga. It's been boiling for I think like maybe two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and add some fish sauce. You're just gonna season it to taste. And this is the fish sauce that I like to use. It's a Vietnamese brand. This has been boiling for three and a half hours. You can see how tender it is. The meat is literally just falling apart. It's fallen off the bone. So now I'm gonna add in my vegetables. I've already seasoned it uh, with the fish sauce. I just seasoned it to taste. And then for today's vegetables, we have cabbage and green beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the nilaga. So I have my vegetables in there and I'm just gonna let this uh, come back to a boil uh, and let the vegetables cook and then it's done. So here is Vanessa's plate. She has rice, meat, and veggies and then I put some broth there. And then this is our dipping sauce. Well, I'm not gonna use it, but Vanessa's gonna use it. It's just fish sauce with lemon juice. And then here's my plate. I have meat and veggies and just a little bit of the broth. And that is our dinner for Wednesday night. Today is Thursday and for dinner tonight, I am making a Filipino dish. It is uh, sauteed cabbage with shrimp, very easy to make. Right here I have a couple cloves of garlic, half of an onion, a small tomato. I have my shrimp here, it's already peeled and deveined. And then I just have half of a cabbage that I shredded. And then for myself, cause I'm not gonna eat that. For myself, I'm actually just gonna have like a garlic butter shrimp with some vegetables on the side. So I have my shrimp here. I'm gonna cook that in some butter and um, garlic seasoning. And then I'll just have that with veggies. So I'm gonna be making this in the wok. I'm gonna start with the onions, the garlic, and then I'll add the tomato. I'm going to add in the shrimp. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna use fish sauce. So I added a little bit of fish sauce. Now I'm going to add in my cabbage and then I'm just gonna cook that until the cabbage is nice and soft and then I'll just uh, recheck the seasoning, just season it to taste. All right, you guys, here is what the cabbage and shrimp looks like. So here is Vanessa's plate. She has hers with rice. 
And then here is my plate. I just have the shrimp and some veggies. We have our salad. And then we have all of our uh, sauces here, the dipping sauces. We have all of the banchan, all of the sides. And Ariel's already going at it. We're waiting for our meat. So we have some spicy bulgogi. I don't think I'm gonna eat this because it's like marinated. And um, I think only Ariel's gonna eat that, even though I do like it. And then we have smoked pork belly and then the brisket. We still have our bulgogi because Ariel's the only one eating it. And then we got, uh, we got more pork belly, but this one is the garlic pork belly. And then we got more brisket. We have everything going all at once. Yes, thank you. Brisket, bulgogi, and then the garlic um, pork belly. So today is Saturday, and for dinner tonight, we are just having a rotisserie chicken from Costco. I already have it all cut up here. And then I'm gonna have my chicken with just a side of veggies, and then everyone else will have the chicken with rice. So that is our easy and quick dinner for Saturday night.